Super! Thanks for asking! So what we're doing is we're having a team photo and uh, it's time for an update of the team photo. It's been a couple of years since we last did one. I think it was 2014. So we're out with the Ellen Crom ring flash powered here by the battery pack with the D810 and the 85mm. So what's happening is I'm getting flare from the flash into the lens, right? But I'm going to have to push it so far back that I'm not going to be able to hold the camera. Look at this. I can't even get my hand in there. Let's take this off, see if that mitigates it. We're now shooting with the Elencom ring flash at 64 ISO, 200th of a second at f2. What we're doing is we're photographing with a ring flash. It's a flash that goes around the lens, at the end of the lens. And unlike a normal flash that hit, sits in a hot shoe on top of the camera, the light comes from 360 degrees around the lens, which means any shadow areas are filled with the flash that's on the bottom, on the sides, and on the top. So you get this beautiful flat light with all shadows removed. Why do we use this look? Well, we use this look because having shadows removed is very flattering. People look amazing. It's fresh and light and bright. And it's a bit of a high key look that's mostly used in fashion and portraiture. It's pretty much the only time it's applicable. It's also used in close-up photography, like macro photography a fair bit. And it's a look that I really love and I look forward to doing more of. This is the second time I've used the Elencrom ring flash uh, today and um, I have to say I'm a, a little bit disappointed in a few elements of it, most especially the ergonomics and the setup speed. And this is something I'll talk about in another video which I look forward to sharing.